Hey, what is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys have had a great weekend so far. Hopefully you've been able to watch some of the North American International Championships when it comes to the TCG or VGC. They've had that all streamed on the Pokemon Twitch channel. It's been super cool. Really, really fun to watch. Yesterday in the top four matchup for Masters, we had Mewtwo V Union with Miltank and Snorlax going up against uh, my good friend Azul, who was playing uh, Flying Pikachu V Max with Arceus. It was super cool to watch. I never would have expected Flying Pikachu and Mewtwo V Union to be facing off in the semifinals of an event this big. When we were going into it, you thought, okay, there'd be a lot of Palkia out there, there'd be a lot of uh, a lot of Arceus, a lot of Mew, and that did happen, but just to have two these two decks kind of square off in the semifinals, uh, super cool. Shout, uh, shout out, hats off to Sander for such an amazing build. Also to Azul, I'm going to leave a link to Azul's uh, channel, YouTube channel, in the description below. If you guys could do me a favor, go over, drop him a sub, comment on his latest video, and just say congratulations on the finals. Danny Phantom sent me. That would mean the world to me. Uh, thank you guys so much. Also, sh shout out to uh, Isaiah Bradner. Uh, he's going to be going against Azul later today in the finals. By the time this video goes live, that'll probably already be complete, uh, but super excited. A lot of fun. It's really interesting to kind of watch the meta continuously evolve, and that's what makes Pokemon so great uh, as we get into Worlds. Today is going to be a lot of fun, too, because we're going to be going over the new Pokemon set, Pokemon Go. Now, I can't open this up yet. I can't open it up officially until Thursday because uh, Pokemon is sending product out to a bunch of uh, a bunch of us, and we're going to be opening up all this stuff on Thursday, the day before release. Uh, I did open some product so far and I want to do my best to make sure that I have pull rates and hit rates compiled so that way when Friday comes around I can release that all to you but we're going to go over pre-order pricing so that way we don't FOMO on this set there's a lot of really cool cards in this set but some of the pre-order pricing is absolutely insane uh, and I want to kind of bring that back down to earth and just give you an idea of what I've pulled so far in the first 60 packs that I've been able to crack before we jump into things I do want to remind you guys uh, that we are giving away a booster box of Evolving Skies every single week until the reprint comes. So if you want to be entered to win that, go back to the video that I just posted on Friday going over the Scalper's Paradise. Uh, leave a like and a comment on that video and then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Boom, you're entered to win an Evolving Skies booster box, this bad boy right here. Come back every Friday, come back this Friday to see if your name uh, was drawn by the YouTube comment algorithm, random picker, whatever it is. Uh, and then it starts over again and we keep going. It's going to be super cool. I've got a few things, a couple of sheets that I want to show you here. We're going to start out actually with sheet two here. So we're going to go back to the pre-order pricing when it comes to some of those higher end singles in a second. But I kind of want to go over just the market for some of these products. This is coming out next Friday and this just goes to show you a special set. How, uh, how the market is kind of responding as far as demand goes and also how the market has settled down so, so much compared to where it was for our last special set, which was Celebrations. A lot of these products are hovering right around MSRP and this is data that's pulled directly from TCG Player. So we're looking at TCG Player pricing that any company can basically go list but there's a lot of online LGSs and a lot of store, brick and mortar store LGSs that are actually asking less than MSRP for the majority of products that are releasing next week Friday. So we're starting out right here with the Elite Trainer Box. This is probably the second biggest of the bunch here that you'll be able to pick up in stores. The first one being that premium collection that we're going to talk about in just a second here. But this one started out and this was kind of, oh, we got our allocations. We want to throw up a high price out there and try and milk this for as much profit as we possibly can. And that's why you see when a April came around, the end of April, beginning of May, when people really started getting allocations in, you saw some sales. And the great thing about TCG Player market pricing is it doesn't uh, it doesn't actually update a market pricing until there's sold listings. So it would have had to actually sell for this price point up here of $80. So there are people who went out and started paying $80, probably because of, of FOMO, not knowing what to expect from the set, not knowing how popular it is. Uh, one interesting tidbit is allocations for a lot of this Pokemon Go stuff, especially when it comes to the the ETB and premium collection are less than what a lot of people got for Celebrations and for Shining Fates and even for Champion's Path. They have printed less of this product expecting demand not to be there like 
what it was for previous sets. And there's only one wave that has been announced for a lot of these products so far. So that means that there's going to be less available than what we saw for a lot of those other products. Now, I don't think there's going to be as much that's being open because I don't think the demand is there for this product as much as what it, it, it was originally for some of those other ancillary products, those other specialty sets that we just talked about. But I do think that there is going to be plenty of this available because demand has shrunk so much and because so many people have gotten out of the game and out of the hobby now that uh, flipping is really not as much of an option as it was before. You can't just go to the store, buy something, and then sell it on Facebook Marketplace and make, uh, make a ton of profit on it. So we're looking at the Elite Trainer Box right now for the market price selling right around MSRP. MSRP for this item is $49.99. Now, this is different than the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box exclusive. This one comes with 10 packs. You get that full art Mewtwo card. You get the dice. You get the damage counters. Uh, selling for $52.52 right now. That includes shipping. Uh, so, it's technically selling for a little bit less than MSRP on TCG Player. So, you can get these for a decent price point still, um, even though Pokemon Go is coming out in like six days. So, that's very interesting right there. Then, we've got the Premium Collection. This one's selling for a little bit above MSRP. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult to ship as you can see it's not necessarily the bulkiest of items it's about the size of those v-star boxes that we get but because of the play mat that's inside the radiant eevee play mat that's in here it is more uh it's heavier than what a lot of these other products are which is going to make it a little bit more difficult to ship a little bit more expensive so you're looking at a price point of 6112 which is down from that 7993 which is what it was originally sold at these also have come back and forth in stock on the pokemon center website all this stuff still available on pokemon center website that really makes it a lot easier uh, for people to obtain product. And Pokemon has done a good job of making sure that they have products on their website selling for MSRP, so that way it's a lot tougher for people to kind of try and flip products. Uh, so this premium collection box selling for $61.12 right now. Then we've got the Pokemon Go Booster Pack. This one started out at about $10 uh, about a month ago when people started listing them. It's down to $5.83 right now. I still think that's too high. Uh, once, once this set actually does release, I think that these are going to sell somewhere between $4 and $5 for just a booster pack. And I think the pull rates are really good you, you're guaranteed basically to get a hollow rare or better in every single pack they don't have regular rares much like what we saw uh, with a lot of the other specialty sets then we've got the pin collections that go over towards uh, the the team instinct team valor and team mystic so we're starting off with the team mystic right here they're all selling for roughly the same price point except for valor which was uh, a lot cheaper when it originally started out so you're looking at about $80 for the team instinct and team mystic with a low price point of $45 which is where they're all kind of selling for right now still a little bit above MSRP, but when you factor in shipping, you're right there at MSRP. These are going to be a little bit more uh, than $5 to ship. A lot of them on average are going to be closer to that $10 marks because they $10 mark because they do weigh uh, over a pound, but you're looking at about $45 for the current MSRP price. You should be able to find a lot of this stuff in store. So if you wake up on Friday and you're like, hey, I'm going to go hunting, you should be able to find a good deal of this Pokemon Go product available at MSRP. And then if we look at the Alolan Executor box, I think that this box in specific was printed in droves, much like what we saw, much like what we saw with the Shining Faith Pikachu box. Um, a lot of those smaller collection boxes that are retailing for $19.99. I think the Alolan Executor box, we got an absolute ton of these, a metric ton of these, so I think a lot of people are getting a ton of these as well. This is going to be the product, kind of like those double boxes, kind of like those Pikachu V boxes from Shining Fates, like I was talking about, where there's a lot of them out there, so if a lot of this other stuff gets picked through at Target or at Walmart, you should be able to find a lot of these ex Alolan Executor. These are going to sell for $20 MSRP. It'll be interesting to see what a lot of these marketing companies do if they mark these up, like what they've been doing with ETBs, kind of keeping them around $45, if that MSRP price point has kind of risen a little bit because of all of the inflation that's been going Going on in the economy lately, uh, but you're looking at 23.19 right now. So the ship price of it, not too bad. You're looking right around MSRP, a little bit less than that when you factor in shipping. Now, if we look at the pre-order singles, and this is absolutely insane. So these first eight cards right here that we're going to look at, these all have sold listings on TCG Player. So these all have market prices that have been already firmed up because they have sold for this price point. Not every single has had sold listings so far, and it's very difficult to find pre-order prices on eBay, on other websites, on other LGS websites, uh, because a lot of people don't know what the pull rates are yet. So this Radiant Charizard right here does have sold listings for $130. The lowest listings right now on TCG Player when I looked yesterday and was putting this sheet together was about $160. That's insane. Uh, I can honestly tell you that I have opened up 60 packs so far, and I have already pulled three Radiant Radiant Charizard. So I've pulled three of those. I've pulled three of the Radiant Blastoise. I have not pulled a Radiant Venusaur yet, but I do believe the Radiant 
pull rates are going to be the exact same as what we saw for Astral Radiance. So this card is going to be very, very uh, pullable. Uh, if you're opening, you know, 20 packs or so, 30 packs, you should be able to pull uh, one of them, I would assume. And we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll firm up the pull rates, hopefully by Friday, so that way you can get a good understanding of what you're going out there hunting and looking for. So you know, oh, well, I want to pull this card, but I don't want to overspend. Um, you know what, what price point that they, they should be put at. But you're looking at $130 right now for Radiant Charizard. Don't spend that. Uh, I think that this card's going to drop like a rock, and you're probably going to be looking at about $8 to $10 in a week or so uh, for the Radiant Charizard. Radiant Blastoise selling for $99.99. Does have sold listings also. Same thing. Easy to pull. The Dragonite V-Star. We did pull one of these out of the 60 packs that we opened. This one is selling for $99.99 right now. That is also quite ridiculous. A little bit too expensive uh, as far as I'm concerned. I think this card's going to go down. Still a popular Pokemon. You're probably going to be looking at $20 to $30. Mewtwo V-Star. This $79.99 gold card. I haven't pulled one of these yet. This one actually makes a little bit more sense selling for that $80 mark. Kind of starting out the same way that we saw uh, those gold cards from Astral Radiant starting out, and it is Mewtwo, which makes it a lot more uh, of a, a collector chase for a lot of people. You're looking at $80 right now. I do expect it to kind of shrink down a little bit, somewhere around that $50, $60 mark, but a much more respectable pre-order pricing. When we look at the Mewtwo V-Star Rainbow Rare, I think that's going to kind of go along the same line as the Dragonite V-Star. I think a lot of people are pulled away from the Rainbow Rares right now and focusing more on the gold cards as well as the uh, alternate art that we're going to look at in mini here. So $79.99 for the Rainbow Rare. I think that's going to drop down to about $30 or so, uh, not too long after release, especially once we figure out true pull rates of this set. I do think it's not going to take too many packs in order to open up a master set, but uh, I will get all that data for you by Friday, by release day. Uh, then we've got the Mewtwo V-Star. This one does have sold listings for $60. This one's going to be overpriced as well. I think you're going to be looking at about $15 to $20 when all the dust settles for that one. Conkledur, or Conkledur V, the alternate art. This one actually does look pretty cool because Conkledur is just kind of standing there in the middle of the stadium ready to do battle, which is super cool. $49.99, not too terrible for an alternate art pricing. Again, I expect it to be halved or even less than that um, because I do think it's going to be not necessarily fairly easy to pull, uh, but when you get a lot of these other chase cards out of the set out of the way with fairly easy pull rates, I think it's going to shrink down in price. Then we've got Mewtwo V, just a regular art, $29.99. Surprisingly, I haven't pulled this card yet, even though it's just a regular, uh, regular V card, $29.99, does have sold listings. These other ones now that we're going to look at, these final eight here, these do not have sold listings. So these are just kind of guesses. These are just what a lot of TCG player prices are putting, storefronts are putting. Uh, Professor's Research, the Rainbow Rare, $39.99, not a terrible price for a pre-order price. I do expect it to go down from that, but a Professor's Research obviously staying in format for quite some time now, that, and we'll talk about that uh, on Tuesday, but with Professor's Research staying in format for uh, a while yet, uh, $39.99, not a terrible price. Then we've got the Lula module, the gold card, $29.99. This Mewtwo V, absolutely ridiculous. I couldn't find any sold listings anywhere for this or any cheaper pre-order pricing. There's only two of them available right now on TCG Player for a pre-order pricing of $999.98. Absolutely insane. We pulled one of these in the 60 packs that we've opened so far. So this is not going to be an impossible pull. Did we get lucky? Yeah, probably. But I do think that this one's going to probably be somewhere along the same lines of the alternate arts from previous sets you're looking at, like one out of every 200 packs or one out of a case or whatever the case may be, uh, but $999.98, obviously, super ridiculous, and that's why there's not a market price established for this card yet, because none of them have sold at that price point, and that's the thing about TCG Player that's both good and bad, is you just kind of get to make up a price when you put in things in there and see if anybody bites, so somebody's obviously looking for, you know, a really big payday on a card like this, um, putting a premium on it as far as you getting a card prior to release day, and those are only pre-order stores that are able to put up listings on TCG Player, but $999.98 is absolutely ridiculous this will be a hundred dollar card uh in no time whatsoever but uh yeah that's that's insane uh candela rainbow rare 39.99 and we've got the radiant venusaur again i didn't pull this one out of the, the 60 packs that we opened but that doesn't necessarily surprise me we did pull three blastoise and three charizard i do expect this one to have the same pull rates as those other two it was just a little bit more difficult to pull and I, like i said i'll get more firm numbers for you on that uh only a couple listed right now at 499.89 Again, couldn't find good pre-order pricing as far as singles go, but it's very entertaining and interesting to look at what the price points are that some people put on these items in advance. Then we've got the Egg Incubator for $29.99. Uh, not a terrible price. Again, I do expect it to go down quite a bit. The Dragonite V, actually, not too bad when you consider the fact that Dragonite is a very popular Pokemon. The full art looks absolutely stunning. Uh, $29.99 on this one. Probably not too far off of where this card will settle. It's, uh, somewhere between $15 and $20, depending on pull rates and how easy it is to find. And then we've got the Dragonite V-Star right now pre-ordering for $99.99. 
99 Also, very expensive for that point. I think it'll fall right around the same price as that Dragonite V Full Art. Uh, very, very cool looking cards, though. I'm very excited about Pokemon Go because I do think it does have a lot of really cool artworks that I think are going to be easily obtainable. And I think this is kind of a set like Celebrations where you're going to be able to have decent pull rates where you can go out, you can enjoy opening cards, you can enjoy opening packs without breaking the bank, and then kind of fill in singles once you get sick of cracking packs where you're like, okay, well, I still haven't pulled the Mewtwo V Star yet. I'm going to go out and buy that and spend $40 on it uh, for the, the gold card because I haven't pulled it yet. But I've had a lot of fun opening packs at a decent price and I've been able to find a lot of product at MSRP or less than MSRP, which I think is super cool. So I want to throw this information out there and kind of give you a rough idea of a very small sample size of packs that have been opened so far so you can get a good understanding of where things are going to be. I really want to emphasize don't FOMO over any of this stuff. I do think it's going to be readily available when you go out on Friday and start doing your hunting. Have some fun. Enjoy the set. Enjoy opening the packs. The artwork I really, really like. Like I said, I like the Radiant cards. Uh, I think they look really cool. It's kind of a throwback to me uh, from the old Neo Rev and Neo Destiny Shining cards. I know not everybody's excited about it, but I think it looks really cool. And then some of the other artworks in here, like that Dragonite, like the Mewtwo's, look absolutely stunning. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to open. Uh, if you guys could do me a favor and leave a like and a comment on this video, just because it goes a long way for the algorithm, and hit that subscribe button. And don't FOMO, uh, because you don't want to overspend on this set. Thank you guys so much for everything. I really, really appreciate you. You mean the world to me. I'll see you guys soon. Until then, peace!